show you how to play Next to Me by Emily Sande. If you want the letter notes for that, you can go to letternoteplayer.com. I've got them right there for you. You can be playing it in no time. I want to start off with the introduction that she plays, and we're going to play a bass note. All your chords are going to be an A minor, a G chord, and a C chord. But with the bass line, because G has G, B, D, there's your G chord. The bass line is going to use that B and play the third when we go to that G chord. See, so we're going to go A, B, C, and then I'm going to hit a C, C. You can hear her hit a little thump in the bass there, something like that. So that's what I'm going to play, just an open octave C. Now in the right hand, we're going to play an A minor chord, which is A, C, E, 1, 3, 5 on A. And I'm going to add the octave. And you're going to have six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to slide to the G chord. Now the G would be one, three, five on G. But because my little finger's on A, I'm going to just put the G on the top. And we just play two of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. And we're going to a C chord. C, E, G. One, three, five on C. There's your C chord. And, and she has eight of those in there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we repeat. Now that second time, I'm going to just pause on that fa on the fifth uh, C chord to give a little bit of space there before we start the, uh, the singing. So then we put the bass with it, and I'm going to slow it down now so you can see it. chord in the bass, A, C, E, A, and I'm going to play all the notes with the octave. So that's the rhythm I'm going to play, bum, 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 bum. And then I will show you how we can put that, put a drum, drum with that, but let me do that after we've learned the notes. So we got G chord. going to be these notes. A, 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 G, G, E, G, E, C. She kind of slides down the E, C. Back up to A, 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 G, G, E, G. And she kind of tails off to an A. A, 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 G, G, E, G, E, C, E, D, C. I'll slow that down. C, E, D, C, E, D, C, B, C, C. And then she does another verse. She just does another verse. down to the A. Kind of sounds like it wants to go to a G, but she stops it right there on that G, G, A, C, D, C. Usually on the second time, she doesn't slide off on it, but I put the, the slide off note on every time, so if you want to, you can play it. G, G, A, C, D, C, A, C, E, D, C, E, D, C, B, C, C. Now your tendency will be to rush on this piece because it isn't it isn't too tough, so you want to hold it back. Now we'll go into the singing there. So when we put the chords together, I'll slow it down. Thing. We go A, A minor chord, G chord, 
and C. And I won't hit that, that pulse again until we get to the end of the melody. So we'll just hit each chord once. Then she repeats. I want to show you what you can do is you can put a rhythmic pulse behind it. And I've got this set on 88, 88 beats a, a, a minute. So it's a very, it's a rather slow, slow pulse. And you can choose the, ten, you can choose the beat that you want. But if we put that with it, there's the sound you're going to get. So here we go. sounds with that beat she goes through the song one more time through the verse and for this time I'm just going to change the sound of the keyboard so that you can see what the keyboard sounds like with it sustained and not just piano it's time with the sustained on uh, with the sustained sound the string piano <laughs> sustained and then after I do the chorus I'll show you what the chorus will sound like with the beat and the sustaining on there so with the chorus now so here we go verses. Now during those two, those two more verses and then a chorus, then she's got an acapella verse, but she does have a she does have a harmony that comes in on one of those verses. And here's what they're playing in the harmony. E, F and A, G. You can hear that instead of a bass accompaniment, they've just got these oohs in the background. Ooh, ooh, what it sounds like. I'm going to take this up an octave because she's singing right in there where the accompaniment is. Now at the end there she goes G F E we've got in the vocals behind If you want those harmony notes, I've got them written out for you, and it's just E, F, and A, and G. Or if you have singers that want to sing that, you've got the notes right there in front of you. Now the chorus, we've got um, the same the same basic harmonic structure, A minor chord, G chord, and C chord. And then when you get to the end of, there is an a cappella chorus that she has in there too, where it's just the drums and the a cappella. It'll sound like this. show you how the uh, how it sounds like at the end there when she has a she has a brief bass tag and the bass tag is just so after that final chorus well this time I'll play it with the beat with the beat in there so that you can hear it for the final chorus
There's one other thing that I want to show you, and she has some melodic variation on one of those choruses where she goes up. So she goes, G, A, C, D, C, A, G, G, A, C, D, C, A, G, G, A, C. She goes up to a D, E, D, C, C, E, D, C, E, D, C, B, C, C. So instead of coming down, she goes up there and ends up high. And that's all there is to it. Uh, so you can consult the letter notes for that and put that right with the bass. Uh, next to me, I hope you enjoy playing it.